Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guide video on unit conversion on the Casio FX CG50. We've got five examples to complete here and we are going to be using the conversion feature on the FX CG50 to change between a variety of different units. Now one thing to point out before we get started, if we navigate down the main menu here it shows that there is a conversion feature option. You may have that on your calculator, but currently it says, well, it's available through the run menu and the option key. So actually we just need to go into run matrix to do any conversions. I'm not sure if in the future they plan to use this and expand it a little bit further. I don't know, but we're going to go back into the menu and into the run matrix mode to do these conversions. Let's start with the first one. 12 inches to centimeters. Maybe you have an idea about this. If you think about the length of a long ruler, you may have an idea of what this is approximately, but let's use the calculator to complete this. Input 12, and then we want to go to the option menu. We will press F6 to access the next set of choices. And here we go, F1 is convert. And we've got a selection of different types of units here. Inches are a unit of length, so we'll press F2. And we've got a variety of different options here. Now they're not preset in the way that they are on some of the other calculators. For example, on the Casio Classwiz FX991EX. What we can do is we can choose the units of the length that we've inputted here. Now it's 12 inches. Going to go to length two as i think that's where the imperial measurements are scroll down option two there i can just press two if you prefer 12 inches and then to instigate the conversion we want the arrow here so it's f1 for this arrow this is the conversion arrow 12 inches two and then well we want length again f2 back to length one and then it's centimeters. We've got the metric units in here. Option five, centimeters, press execute. And here we have our value in centimeters, 30.48. Example two then, 2.5 meters cubed to centimeters cubed. So 2.5, now this is a, a unit of volume. So it's F4 for volume, both metric this time. So we've got 2.5 meters cubed, option four, F1 for the conversion arrow volume and then one for centimeters cubed press execute and here we have our answer 2.5 million centimeters cubed now maybe you're thinking that's a little bit higher than i expected although we know that there is 100 centimeters to a meter what you've got to think is that there are three dimensions with a volume so that's 100 times 100 times 100 that is a million, so it is a million times as many centimeters cubed as there are meters cubed. So 2.5 million there. 50 meters per second to miles per hour, input 50. And this is a measurement of velocity. So we're going to navigate to velocity, F3 from here. And then it's option one here, meters per second. If you have seen the previous video, Using the Casio Classways, remember we had to do two conversions in one, a chain because there was only kilometers per hour available to us. However, we are able to choose miles per hour on this, making it a little bit more convenient. So conversion arrow and then down to five miles per hour. You can just press five if you prefer. Execute and here we have the velocity in miles per hour, 111.8 and so on. Example four then, 5,000 pounds to metric tons, to metric tons, so that's quite critical. So let's input 5,000, and then we're looking at units of mass, so it's F4. Navigate down, we're looking for pounds, LB, there we go. So it's 50 pounds, conversion arrow, and then mass again. And we want option five here, it says M ton. So presumably that's standing for metric ton. Notice how we spell ton here, usually in the UK and throughout Europe. It's this T-O-N-N-E spelling, but here they've got it as M ton. If you go down a little bit further, there are the imperial tons as well. But we want option five here, metric ton. 
and then execute for that. We've got our answer here, 2.27 to two decimal places there, metric tons for 5,000 pounds. Okay, last one here, it's going to be a temperature con conversion. Find the freezing point of water in degrees Rankin. Rankin or Rankine? I'm not entirely sure. Comment below if you know about these. In fact, I didn't know about these prior to making this video, but I saw it, it as an option in the conversion menu. So I thought, well, I'll find out what that is. And if you don't know what it is, is it's a scale which has absolute zero as its zero point, as with Kelvin, but the increment, how much it goes up each time, is the same as Fahrenheit rather than Celsius, uh, which is the case with Kelvin. As I said, I'd never heard of it, but if you know about rankings and you've used them before, why not comment below on where you might encounter them. But let's have a look at the conversion then. So it's the freezing point of water. I do know what that is in degrees Celsius. That's probably the easiest one to do. So it's zero F2 for temperature and then one four degrees C. And I should probably point out before I get any comments, yes, let's assume that it is at sea level so that we have the standard freezing point of water at zero conversion arrow and then temperature and we've got kelvin there degrees fahrenheit and then the, the bottom degrees rankine rankine press execute and here we have 491.67 so there we go something a, a little bit different i hadn't encountered that scale before lots of other conversions there for you to explore comment below if you use any of the more unusual ones on a regular basis maybe there might be future videos if we encounter any questions or situations where we might need to convert some less ordinary units don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos but that's it for this video thank you very much for watching and i shall see you next time on the calculator guide